Come in. Look, you've got him all excited. Come in, come in. Moti, be nice. Just one moment. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity. I'm at a loss. He never acts like this. Never. It's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> Joey crashes yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. Joey crashes yet another photograph. Psst, Joey! Yeah? Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Why were you at the wedding? Because your aunt insisted on going, and I go where she goes. I could have talked her out of it, but she put her foot down. Tough lady, your aunt, when she needed to be. You don't look very happy in this picture. That's because I wasn't. There was a spirit trapped in an alley down in Chinatown. A little girl, five years old. Lost, confused, and needing our help. But did your aunt want to solve the case? No. Going to the wedding was important, she said. More important. Can you imagine? I don't know. Can you tell me anything else about the wedding? I don't know. There was music. The bride wore white. It was over 30 years ago. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean my memory is perfect. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad and Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. What were you doing in this picture? Being ignored, as usual. Real strong believer in denial, that woman. Do you remember anything else about that day? It was over 40 years ago, doll. Stupid hair and ugly sweaters, that's all I remember. Why did she hate you so much? Because I ruined her perfect little life. She had the nice house, the supportive hubby, the two kids, and then I come along. Yeah, you have a way of ruining peaceful lives. Mm. Anything else? Nah, I'm done talking about her. Ask me again later. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I'll be frank, kid. She may have hated me, but I hated her even more. Hated her. The whole seven months I was with her, she spent the whole time pretending I wasn't there. Can you believe that? You're hard to ignore, Joey. <laughs> Tell me about it. And I did everything I could to get her attention. I'd yell in her ear, I'd get right up in her face. She knew I was there, and I knew she knew. She just ignored me all the same. Well, you can hardly blame her. Don't lecture me, dollface. I did what I had to. Had to? You could have... Could have done what? Look, I'm done talking about that old bat. Maybe we'll talk more later, but not now. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. Don't you let up. You destroyed her life. Yeah, yeah, I got enough of that from your aunt. Hey! Oh, shut up. You Blackwells and your goddamn self-pity. All I hear is, poor us, poor us. I'm sick of it. Ever think about what it was like for me? One minute I was breathing, and the next, pow! Dead. I was a ghost, forced to haunt a complete stranger. I had no idea what was going on. You'd think that someone up there would have told me what to do, but no. I was dead, cold, alone, and scared out of my mind. Nobody could see me. Nobody could hear me. Nobody except old Patty Cakes Blackwell, and she didn't want to admit I was there. So don't you dare lecture me, sweetheart. You don't know from nothing. I... Forget it. Let's just concentrate on the case. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I said we'll talk about that later, sweetheart. Now we've got stuff to do. Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? Your aunt was... She was tough. Always ready to pick a fight. Wouldn't take guff from nobody. We got on famously. So you liked her? Liked her? 
hell. <laughs> sure, I liked her. She was the first person in 10 years who was willing to talk to me. She didn't scream or run away. She certainly didn't swoon like some people. Shut up. She just looked right at me and said, Oh, that was it. That was all I needed to hear. So what happened after that? What is this, an interrogation? Cut it with the questions, kid. You're bothering me. We'll talk about this later. Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? I guess. What do you want to know? I don't know. Um, tell me about a case you went on. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but I do remember one. There was this brownstone down in Brooklyn, one of those fancy houses that got converted into apartments. The residents kept complaining of weird noises and bad dreams. Your aunt and I heard about it and went over there. Turns out, these two little boys had been locked in a basement closet over 30 years beforehand. The door was paved over. Nobody knew it was even there. Those two little ghosts had been crying in the dark for 30 years until we came along. That's horrible. Yeah, that was a messy one. How did you save them? We did some snooping, found the grandmother, brought her to the house. The boys calmed down and we took care of the rest. So you saved them? Yeah. We had no choice, did we? Do you remember when that picture was taken? Picture? Yeah, the one on the TV. Oh, the Brooklyn Bridge picture. You don't remember? I was five years old. Right, right. You tend to forget stuff like that when you're... Well, when you're me. So what about the picture? Oh, it was just one of your aunt's little field trips. One of many, I hasten to add. She wanted to take you all over the damn city and I could do nothing but tag along. Really? Yeah. I knew it was a bad idea. Why is that? Just leave it. But... Shut your mouth, kid. You're attracting flies. We'll talk about this later. Maybe. Let's talk some more about Auntie Lauren. Like I said, kid, later. We've got stuff to do first. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. Remind me, how do we convince ghosts that they're dead? Like I said, we need to find something that has personal significance to them. Like an object, a piece of information, or even another person. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. Sure thing, you're clear. Go right in. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low. And that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. So do you like Bellevue? It's okay. I used to come here every week. To visit my aunt, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. Well, anyway, I'm just saying. I've spent a lot of time here. You don't have to be scared of me. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. These pills, according to Susan, are a mild diuretic.
Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. Come in! Hello again, Rosa. Come in, come in. Moti, behave yourself. Ooga booga! This is getting old. I... it's all right. Don't worry about it. Here, boy. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Right. Here you go, boy. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right. Point taken. Hey there, Bright Eyes. It's me again. Are... Uh, are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kid, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't think she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Um, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The... Boston Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. Uh, yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Hmm, your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's kinda hazy now, but I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him, but he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Here. Take this, and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. 
that's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? Sure you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... Well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute! Oh! Oh, there you are! I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. She said she was going to sleep. I shouldn't bother her. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Is Dr. Quentin in? He's long gone, miss. You can catch him tomorrow. I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, miss. She's probably sleeping by now. About Susan Lee. I told you, visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. It will only take a few minutes. Sorry, miss. Rules are rules. Nobody gets in past visiting hours. Nobody. About Susan Lee. I told you, visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Please, can't I go past? Oh, jeez. I told you, visiting hours are over, miss. About Susan Lee. I told you, visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Uh, you're kinda cute. I'm flattered, miss, but I'm gay. Oh, I'm sorry. About Susan Lee. I told you, visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Look, you'd better let me pass, or... Or what? You'll keep glaring at me? Forget it, miss. Don't threaten me again, or I'll have you escorted out. About Susan Lee. I told you, visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Hey, what's that behind you? Just the duty roster. I'm on double shifts this week. Oh, never mind. Thanks. Joey? Yeah? What was it like, staying here? Like? I was on a different floor, but it's all the same. 25 friggin' years, hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. You wanna know how many cracks there were in that ceiling? Not really. 54! Or maybe 55, I was never sure about that last one. How well did you know Dr. Quentin? That quack. He'd come into your aunt's room, poke her, prod her, try to get her to speak. He didn't know from nothing. I'd just as soon never see him again. What was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she... Uh, wasn't pretty. But the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again from me. What happened with that radio? What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. 
I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? That's all for now. Right, right. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. I don't think I need any of these other keys. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave, miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. I'll get the elevator for you. I hope you know what you're doing, doll. She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. The others are gone. You're the only one! Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! It's out there, watching, waiting. Susan, Susan, you called me. You can help me. Ahem. Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me! Help me! Please! Hey! Ignore them, Susan! Listen to me! Help me! Please! I'm talking to you, Clown Shoes! You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't... You're like me! What do you mean? Dead! Like me! Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes! Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No! Get that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't! What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No! I don't want to! You don't... want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Who is after you? It! It! Haven't you ever seen him? Forget it, kid. He isn't listening. We're wasting our time. 
He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't can't make make me. me. Don't make me burn, please! (sighs) Hurts, don't it? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You killed two people. Almost killed a third. Doesn't that mean anything to you? They called me. Why would they call me? If they couldn't help me. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm taking over. So, are we going to do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Please. No! What are you going to do to me? Please don't make it get me! I don't want to go to hell! Hell, Schmel. You want to stop talking crap? Hey, stop! Let me talk to him, okay? You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You can't keep going on like this. It's better than burning. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, you had your shot, now it's my turn. I don't believe in hell, buddy, but you have two choices. The slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell, or the dead certainty of an eternal torture by me. But... you can't! Sure I can. You gonna stop me? Make your choice. I... Wrong answer. You're hurting him, Joey. Yeah, that's the idea. You got any better ones? Let me talk to him. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because we know what we're doing? No. No! What do you know? You know nothing! You're going to make me burn! You had him, and you lost him, kid. My turn now. Because we don't want you to kill anyone else. They weren't my fault. They just wouldn't listen to me. Why don't they want to help me? Nobody wants to help me. You're a liar. All right, your way isn't working. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. You were right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. No! You lied to me! What? It's It's here! here. You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! 
Joey? Joey, get me out of here! Stay away! Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please! You brought me here! You have to save me! You have to! Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. I... Uh, I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. I'm doomed! What is that thing? I... don't know! It haunted my dreams when I was alive, and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. What are your sins? What have you done? I don't know. Please, God, I don't know. I didn't mean to kill those people. It's just I've been so scared and I don't know why. Please help! So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? No, you might be right. What? She speaks wisdom, worm. You are totally without redemption, and you know it. Collect yourself, for the time draws near. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because it, it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. It looks like a cheap copper flask. There's nothing really special about it except that it belonged to a ghost. It's kind of vibrating. Beware, mortal! The sins this man carried with him are still tainting this place. Touch them and they will taint you as well. I am content with taking my quarry, but I have no claim on you. Take this man's sins upon yourself, and I shall be forced to take you as well. You do not want that, and neither do I. Uh, excuse me? Ask yourself, does he deserve 
mercy. Yes? You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. That stone looks a little loose. Please, help! It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace, and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time, it's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died, they killed themselves because of me. And what do you think about that? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. But that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe there isn't a hell. It's too late for that. You see, I was a religious man once, before disease took my wife away and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Jesus Christ, kid, you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. Did you have to hit him? It was the only way, darling. I didn't see you coming up with any bright ideas. Sometimes the best idea is a punch in the gut. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah.
There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. La la la, I'm Joey, I'm such a ghost. It's really incredible exactly how much of a ghost I am. Sorry, there are no Joannes on the guest list. Excuse me, I was uh, having some uh, pasta for lunch here and uh, Please, can't I go past? Please? Please, can't I go past? Please? <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. That's a little voice. A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits. See, I can't do that. And a biscuit mixer. Mm. I stood on the steps of Burgess's fish shop, inexplicably welcoming the men. <laughs> supposed to do that before you do it. You know, that's your blah blah blah. Oh, that's your idea. Warm up. A box of mixed biscuits. All right. Although your aunt threw a fit. Ah! <laughs> Although your aunt. Uh, one, two, three. Silence. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. They're fine where they are. I love that all of these are just indicating stop touching that. <laughs> stop clicking on that. Yeah. Nobody gets pet. <laughs> I need to breathe more. <sighs> Where are my levels, my levels, my levels? <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Okay. My name is Abe Goldfarb. Uh, I'm a professional actor. <laughs> actually, this... I, I'm enjoying... I'm getting paid a lot. Um, I actually get... me dry, this guy. I get $30 a word. Uh more if the word is saucy and there is some saucy verbiage in this let this is as loud as i'm gonna talk this is as loud as i'm gonna talk man oh man these tests it's pure pure gold pet no teddy bear huh well you probably had the right idea uh that's a little i was too heightened i think let me do it again yeah. when you do this did you actually laugh at it which one ah. Like a teddy bear? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, okay. You actually think it's funny. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> Kids will do a damn teddy bears! <laughs> Making fluff all over the place. Alright, where am I? Um, I live here. No, you don't. What do you care? I can't let you in unless you tell me. I know everybody in the building. And I don't know you. Do, 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 do. I've lost my place on the script. Hold on. I'm getting to it. Crap. Uh, Who do you have? I think she's a dyke. She's just... attractive. <laughs> Feeling it. It's my motivation. That's your motivation. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm oh, good. It's something. She's a predatory uh, <laughs> sex fiend. <laughs> it's not something I was considering. But you never know, right? Ghost schmost, get over here. Oh, man. Um, um, wow. No, I feel it's not. really disturbed now. Don't feel disturbed. <laughs> All right, next. Hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the seal. I bet, but they but do. All right, let's try that one again, motherfucker. Because <laughs> that was fucking perfect. Yeah. Okay. It's so going in the game. Right it's on. Like we do the whole game over, and you 
sang I sang every line. Every single line. As a black lady gospel singer, Sweet. which inside is kind of what I am. All right, <clears throat> let's try it again. All right. Take two. Boti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Actually, I kind of like that. Let's get you home. Oh, to, it's to her. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I thought it was Moti. Actually, I kind of like the way you said that. Okay. Let's take care of you, honey. Twinge of Auntie M. Good old Auntie M. Dorothy. Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry. <laughs> oh, way to pull that one out of your ass. <laughs> Almost started laughing. Did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? <laughs> I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great little snicker. I love that. All right, do it again. That's for Joey. <laughs> okay. It's the Joey Snicker. They called him Joey Snickers because he liked chocolate. Now that Dave Gilbert has finished his phone call. We can continue making the game. <laughs> yes. Actually, I did think it, but I wasn't going to say it because I was going to get through this like a pro. Oh, I see. <laughs> Fart all over this mic. Consummate professional you are. Consummate. All right. And more Joey. That's it. No more Joey. No more Joey. It's okay. It's no more joy for you. Alright, All right, we're done. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. <laughs> okay. We got the giggles. Oh boy. Alright, let's go. Is it okay he's a little bit of a, kind of a bitch? It's alright, yeah, it's alright. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. He's a sexy ghost bitch. Adrian, Adrian the man, the man with the plan. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what? You didn't want that one? Uh, it just sounds silly, like that was the idea, but... Man, well, she is kind of nuts, though. This is so cheesy. <laughs> it's supposed to be cheesy. Yeah. For the greater kid. <laughs> For the greater kid, good. Cause that makes sense with words. Okay, let's try that one again. Me English, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. I really want to do the demon voice now. It would be so ridiculous. <laughs> For his sins. Okay. Converse. Converse. <coughs> 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 uh, I gotta quit smoking. All that fire and brimstone, man. It just clogs up your sinuses. <coughs> I'm still pissed off. Like I said, kid, later. We got stuff to... <laughs> Every so often, you gotta throw in a little bit of magic sauce. Magic sauce. A little bit of the, little bit of the special sauce. Mix it in. Sometimes it's sharp cheddar. Sometimes it's something a little more spicy. Fantastic. All right. Picante. <clears throat> Truly picante. All right. <laughs> All right, let's now move. then, back to work. Uh, hey, what? <laughs> what, what? Uh, All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, shake it out. Shake it shake out. It out. For shit. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Excuse me. It's so lovely. That is exactly how Joey would burp. Thank you very much. Exactly how. That's I method. You nailed it. Yeah. Dude. Had a waffle earlier just to get it right. <laughs> 
but she tends to go over the world. She has to go. What? What? It's like I wrote he, but I wasn't expecting it quite like that. Was that that's not what you wanted though? But I don't know. Awesome. I don't just do this full time, you know. I like to sing. On the good ship, lollipop, it's a sweet trip to a candy shop where the bonbons play on the sunny beach of Peppermint Bay. Lemonade stands everywhere across the deck spans, belly hair, and there you are, happy landing on a chocolate bar. Yeah, what I'd really like to do is direct. Nothing. Uh, okay, you ever like play one of those girls girl games where a guy asks you what's wrong mm -hmm. and you say nothing when there really is something? <laughs> I know you've done it. I just did it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So think of it that way. Uh -huh. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. Let me give you another one. I'm talking to you, jackhole. I'm talking to you, douchebag. All right, now wait, let me give you another douchebag. I giggled at the end. I'm talking to you, douchebag. <coughs> I'm talking to you, wad. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm talking to you, potato head. I'm talking to you, spud head. All right. There's a couple of readings of it. I mean, one of them is, huh, you know, I mean, I could say goodbye to all this and not, I mean, one of them is the fatalistic answer. Yeah. And the other one is, my life has a purpose and I should pursue it. You know what I mean? There's, there's two ways to read it. I mean, what was your, what was your intention? Yeah. 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 Not, like, this is your life. This is your life, yeah. Yeah. For me, it's like, you know what? I mean, she's got a calling. It's a noble calling, and she's a good person. And it's it's a purpose, you know? That's nice. I like that. Okay. Yeah. You know, like, I think, that, I think that's good. Right on. I think you're going to have two readings of it. Absolutely. I like it. I like that it's a little ambiguous. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can, you can read this either as, uh, you know, sort of a dead end, or as, you know... The possibility of a new philosophy of life. <clears throat> okay, let's try it again. You're him! No, it doesn't work for some reason. Be him. I don't want to look at you. <laughs> Say, be glory, glory, glory. Now I'm trying to figure There's a beautiful scene from Buffy. <laughs> so, okay. You know, a lot of people use Buffy to help them out. <laughs> Whoa. 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 It, you know, it's really funny how that word loses all meaning when you've said it about 800 times. 